guys, this is BBB Production and this is a video tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to improve the size of your RAM and improve the performance of your computer. Um, in this demonstration I'm going to be using a personal example. For my computer I have 1 gig of RAM. Some of you are probably wondering why I don't have more and that's because of my CPU. You can't just decide one day that you want to upgrade your RAM. You have to look at the other components of your computer, such as your CPU. And my CPU can only run a certain speed, and with that speed, I can comfortably run one gig, but only slightly run two gigs. So if I got two gigs, I could run it, but it wouldn't make much of a difference, and it would only slightly improve my performance. And I really don't want to pay the money it would cost in order just to do that. So I was researching and I um, thought about Windows Vista and that it has a program called Ready Boost. Ready Boost allows you to hook up a flash drive to your computer and the flash drive will then make it so it like back up backs up your RAM, acts like acts as your RAM sometimes. Um, it saves like certain things you do on your computer so you open them faster next time and it makes the boot up time less so of course someone made a XP version and that is called eBooster and it's right here eBooster um, for the ready boost you can have up to 4 gigs of backup so you can hook up the flash drive and you just say you have like an 8 gig flash drive only 4 gigs of that can be used max for ready boost is what I've heard um, for eBooster I have no idea how much um, the flash drive that I'm using currently is 2 gigabytes so I know it can go to 2 gigabytes for sure but I don't know how much more probably can go more than 2 or four, I don't know, but you just have to test it out and see. Anyways, before I continue, I just want to say that this program does cost money. Order now. Um, when you order it, you can pay nineteen dollars for the light version, twenty-four for the desktop version, twenty-nine for the laptop version, or thirty-nine for the pro version. Of course, the pro version will be the best, and the light version will be the worst. Um, so I'm just also telling you that this is not really giving you more RAM. It's just pretty much having a source that will back up your RAM and make everything you do on your computer faster. This is for low RAM users, such as you have a laptop, this would probably be the best. Um, options it has is it launches your favorite applications faster. There's no hardware upgrades. Laptops benefit more. And you have the Vista Ready Boost and Superfetch benefits on your Windows XP PCs. It supports all kinds of USB removable media types. And you save battery power, so your laptop will last longer with battery and you can also optimize your RAM and yeah and the good thing is is just say you have a external hard drive that has like 250 gigabytes well I'm pretty sure they have a limit on how many gigabytes you can back um, your computer up with but whatever that is you can also use external hard drive to do that instead of a flash drive so yeah um, let me show you the program. Okay, if you look down here, when it's using your flash drive, the little red bar will go all the way to the right, like a um, speedometer on a car. See, it just did it. And it just did it again. Alright, well, this is the screen. I have a Lexar flash drive, 2 gigs. It says less, but it is 2 gigs. Um, 
and then this is just information it's telling you and once you load up the screen it will not have anything in here so you have to click add and then you can add a flash drive or something here let me flash drive real quick Okay, I plug in my flash drive. So, um, anyways, you push add, and once it loads, if it ever does, there we go. Okay, should work now. There we go. Okay, when you go to add, you select down, and here is Alexar Media. There's 122 megabytes free space available on a total of 122 megabytes total. Now, when you have it, you can select how much space will be used. So you just select how much you want to use. So if you have 2 gig flash, you can choose 1 gig instead of 2. It's all up to you. Once you do that, it has to like um config it for about eight minutes and it will just set the settings and it's called build catch and it just makes it so it'll work. Um so yeah. That is pretty much it. It's a great program. The link to the website will be on the side. Um you have to pay for it again. Otherwise there's other ways of getting it but that's up to you. And also I wanna say to please go to my YouTube channel and to subscribe to my YouTube because that is always very nice to do that just go to one of my videos and click subscribe or go to a YouTube channel and click subscribe and you can subscribe to me and see all my latest videos and that helps me out a lot um, so thank you for watching and make sure the right this video and subscribe to my YouTube.